Good afternoon, folks. It's currently 1750 in Game Myers, and we're fixing to sell some oats for a great demand here at GSI. All right, folks, we uh, welcome to Farming Simulator 19 here on Long Oak Farm 19. Your host, well, not quite the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, a whopping six thousand three hundred and eleven dollars for that. And uh, real quick, we got patch weed there, there, and there, and a little bit more here. Now I'm gonna insert a clip right now. All right, folks, I just want to take a minute and show y'all. This is grass. This is weeds. I never seen grass grow in weed field. I mean, <laughs> I never saw weeds grow in a grass field before. And just to prove that, we'll go right here and we're going to zoom in. Uh, you, can, you can see it right there where I'm blinking at right here. See that pink right there? That is weeds. I done took care of all the others who have been spot spraying. You see how they show up in spots. If you just go in spot spray, I know it. See right here, I forgot one because I zoomed out and I didn't see that little spot. But anyway, mine looks about like 40. They just wide. I, I guess this is where they've been letting the weeds grow and they show up in different stages. But I just want to zoom in and show y'all that little pink right there. But it's this, this field here. It's 34. And I don't get them all over. This is the second one I got a spot here. And last time I had a spot like right closer to the shop here. But I just wanted to pop in and show y'all this. Alright, what do you think about that? Here's our great demand. It's Agri J, uh, XJS. For $23.62. Uh, I got all the oats we had. And sold them. Which wasn't very much. So now. We got to make that dollar folks. We got to make that dollar. So we are selling more. Bales. We're going to sell a couple of hay bales. I'm going to park this guy right here. Our other crew should be coming pretty soon. Well, they'll be a while before they be here. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're we're gonna send this guy back. We're gonna send him back. We got things to do. Really, we don't have nothing to do except for selling. Yeah. Let's see. No course loaded. We want market to farm. Actually, I need to get some grass bales. But that's all right. We we can mow a little bit around the sheep area, and we just might do that later on. I don't know if we'll be in this episode or not, but yeah. And I need to get clearing some more trees. I want to take out some more trees. We got the sprayer parked up here. I had to get some fuel. He was completely out. And helper Betty is following. Let me find it. Helper Philip. I got him going just a little bit slow because he is a little bit heavy. Uh, we got 22 bales there. I don't know how many is back here. I think 24. And we got three hay bales. I did have six. But I took the back four off so I could use that back strap. And I put them up there. And I had six hay bales back here. And what was I doing? I can't remember what I was doing and I messed up and I went to auto load them back and they popped up back here and sent bales flying everywhere and three of them went into the ground so I, I lost there so part of it but I got them strapped with a hole I got this trailer on there folks it's gonna it's gonna be a lot oh no he got hung up on the fence post unrealistic folks unrealistic There, helped him out. Yeah, you going to stick me with a spike? Hmm. 
At least he didn't get hung up. Yeah, anyway, folks, back to our semi, huh? I parked the green wagons over here. Um, I'm still needing to add over here, so that's going to take a while. We got to give our cows some water, so that's why I was... Yeah, Betsy, I'm coming. And go in here real quick. <clears throat> kind of hard to fit in there. Let's take a look at them first real quick. I know this ain't the cows, but, uh, you know, I ain't got no fertilized mission. It's just all cultivating and transport, looks like. Chicken's going to need some feed. And let's get down here to our cows. Oh, I gotta go turn the water on quick. We're down to 364 liters. Don't have no straw for them. Don't have no mixed rations. But they do have all the hay and grass they want. Slurries up to 12,000, folks. And also, I don't know if I can find my sheet of paper or not. Maybe this is it. Yep. Let's see. Those are our hostings. They was 1,080 pounds. Now they're 1,091 pounds. So that's good. The other ones, the limousines, was 617 pounds. So let's go up and check those. All right. Limousines. 617 now they're 672 so they're they getting fat and also our loan is down to 900,000 we're going to repay some of that right now so 890,000 and as far as our crops and stuff they are still growing um been looking at this over here still no growth on that um waiting for the grass to grow and yeah but for those that's new, we got sunflowers uh, here, and we got extra field corn here and here. Uh, we got wheat right here, 29, and then we got one, two, three, four grass fields. This field here is going to go bye-bye this fall, and we're going to make it a field that we can plant wheat or something in. And this field up here is going to go into grass, so yeah. And it might buy 45 here. I don't know. For grass also. We can open this up here. Get everything leveled out. It all depends if, how much money we can make on the next grass harvest before crops. Anyway. Giving the cows water. That little thing raises up. And then you run over here real quick. Oh look. Betsy's coming out. You going to get a drink of water? There's the water running. I just love that. And of course, you know, I put down gravel to make it look like a pipeline was laid under here. Later on, I'll come in here and put a little more grass. But anyway, these girls going to need to be cleaned. Uh, don't, well, they don't, won't have no manure because it's all slurry until I get some. Okay, they took that one bale that was here. So they finished that up, and we got this bale here, which is 4,000 liters still. And we got this bale of silage that's still uh, 8,000 and something there. So we're good on that. Um, go check the chickens. I got some seeds left. It's not much. We're still on one box. The numbers are going up. 382.17 liters. But it's still in one box. We got some seeds in there. We're going to do that when the tractor comes back. So uh, they should be almost up there. Here's this tractor coming back. That's perfect timing. Let's hop in there if we can. Yep, there we go. One, uh, stop driver. I'm really just going to wait for a great demand on the others, we'll leave them in a silo. Uh, of course, the wheat is going to be left in there for the chickens. And that's going to be about it. I'm going to take this tractor to the back here, park it. But folks, I'm going to be back in a little bit. Be a second for y'all. Be a little bit for me. I'm going to get the ones to the BGA and then uh, sell some bales 
about all we can do today except for a little bit of mowing by the sheeps. I really don't want to get into uh, sheeps right now. I want to wait till next year and be a little bit stronger, independent, and have more tools and stuff. So I'll be right back, folks. I don't know. I'm going to actually make it before midnight. I've got less than two hours to go. I got the times 60. I'm going to slow that down just one more notch. But it's 2212. I only got 3,000. As you can see, I still have the truck loaded. But I almost got the trailer empty. Um, probably not load after this and the trailer will be empty. And after I get the trailer, I'm going to get the three bales of hay. And then start back on the sillage. You can see we got three bales left on that trailer. Then we got 22 more bales. So it's going to be pretty close. Should have got started a little bit earlier. And I, what I'm doing is this, I'm speeding time up just enough to get it down where I can drop these three. And I slow it down until I get back. So, oh, wrong one. Speed time up again. You got to get it down below 25,000. Barely can see it there. Let me take that off so y'all can see it better there. Down 27, 26, 25, 24 and we're dropping we get back up to 47 on slow time down to 30 and as you can see that almost took an hour right there just to get that so I, I just don't think we're gonna be able to get the trailer unloaded the I mean the truck trailer there we go that trailers empty All right, folks, I'm going to bring y'all back at midnight if I'm done selling or not, because that'll be when we get uh, our price for all this. I uh, wish I could drop them one at a time, but uh, let me speed this up so y'all can see this last drop here. Like I said, it's got to be between 24 and 2,500 in order to drop. I'm going to slow the time down to 5. Go ahead and drop these. Say 47, 540. Alright, we're about 33 minutes away from midnight. Hmm. Alright, be back in a second. Alright, this is our last bell. 8,000 liters. We got 40,800, so we got room. We're up to 48, 720. Seven minutes to midnight. I just don't think I'll be able to get no three more bales in there. So, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Lower the position. So, I got the hay bales off. Now, I'm going to get the ones on the back here off. I get this close enough where yeah there we go get them all kind of even so the straps look right anyway I like how I get out of distance and the straps will go back to regular position I like that and I gotta fast forward time just a little five times right now All right, 47, 300. All right, we're just not going to make it. I want to try, try to get a get that out of the way. Five till. Seven, I mean three till. And this ain't going to work. 40,000. One minute till. Here we go, folks. Midnight prices. The days are long and, uh, and warm in summer. It is time to make hay and watch the crops grow. All right. 50,400 biogas, 2,500 long interest, 
228 vehicle running costs, and I didn't see the other one. So, yeah, we're up to 50000 Awesome. Well, while we're waiting on that, let's go to our finance here. Yeah, $50,000 of what we made. Actually, 58000 Going down here. There's what harvest income was six three eleven, biogas plant income thirty five two hundred, contracts income was twenty. So yeah, that was a pretty good day there. We need to do that again. Uh, and then our biogas plant income for today was fifty thousand four hundred. So that's going to help right there a lot. Plus we got these others. But I'm going to pay all of this back. Yeah, I might as well. We're down to 840 I thought that hay would bring more, but I, I don't know. I don't even know where it hay. Where did that biogas plant, wasn't it? Bell Cell Point is there, and it's down. And yeah, biogas plant. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know. Bell Cell Point, I'm going to have to find that and see where that's at. We're down to, oh, we're down to 12. Okay, let's go get another load. Well, folks, I'm going to bring y'all back probably in the morning. I'm going to get rest of these sold and see you in the morning. All right, folks, we are done. We got all the whales, all the whales in there. And it's still chomping down. 38,000 liters left to chomp. But it's 5 6 in the morning, and I am real, real, real tired. Been up all night feeding this thing, so I'm going to put the bell spike on the trailer here somewhere, tie it down, and I'm going to order a, I might well stay up another two hours and order me a uh, pallet for it so we can feed the chickens and stuff. And, um, uh, so I will see y'all here in a little bit. It'll be a little bit later. I'll be right back. All right, folks. I'm going to give the chicken some feed. I don't have very much. I probably should have picked up some while I was up in town. There we go. It's emptying out. Oh, I need. Oh, oh, yep. There we go. Let's see what we're uh, looking at now up them. Ah, halfway. Yeah, I need to get enough pallet of feed. Actually, what I'm talking about, I just need to. <laughs> we, we got wheat in a silo. I don't know how much we got. Let's see here. Ah, oh, come on, controller. Looking at the wrong one. Should have stopped there. And it would be over here in solids. 304 bushels. So, yeah, we should have enough. Well, yeah, a small trailer. Who knows? Maybe we'll get one. I had borrowed 5000 from the bank to get this pallet for it with, but also ended up with a uh, auto load bail spike for square bales, so that's why I had to borrow some money. I got both of them. Well, folks, this is going to conclude it for this episode. I'm actually under 20 minutes if I can keep it like that. Um, I appreciate y'all coming out. I really do, or not actually coming out. I, I appreciate y'all watching that's that's why it helps the most is watching and hitting that like button y'all please hit that like button the red button and also the bell if y'all are new and uh if y'all like my videos if not you know you know i do nothing you don't want to i understand you don't want to all right i'm gonna see what i need to do for today and i think today's gonna be a really really slow day because oh, fields are growing might just need to feed the cows and that's about it uh, we still got quite a few hay bales left I didn't sell them we actually got 23 left so yeah wish I could find those other three I lost y'all eat them I don't know went over and I ow, ooh, thought I felt something sharp or in Bob Wire. It happened right here, so there ain't no telling where where they are. 
Hope they didn't fall in the slurry pit. If not, they can just stay there. All right, folks. Once again, I love each and every one of y'all. Thank you for what you do for me, supporting and stuff. It really means a lot. So y'all have a great day, a blessed day. Yeah, I'm going to try to stay out of trouble, and I will see y'all later here on Long Oak Farms. Bye.